We had a customer's granddaughter pick up a 42 inch king. Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure. I have just stopped by the grocery store to pick up some supplies to accompany us on this trip. We are heading to a place called the Talachulitna River. It's a place that is a private airstrip that I have permission to actually land at. And the silvers, the silver salmon are running really hot there right now. So we're gonna go try to stake out a spot to see if we can throw some lines in the water and catch some Alaskan salmon about 70 miles away from civilization. We're gonna take the 172 here, fly approximately 70 miles to the west and share that adventure with you. We'll see you on the flight. Bridge traffic, Cessna 654 is departing off at 20 right bridge of traffic. We should be able to get off the ground real nice and quick. Just the two of us. Guys, a little bit more information about Kalachalitna River. Uh, the difficulty of getting there, you have two options, air or by boat. And it's one long boat ride, like hours. And you gotta have the right boat. You gotta have a jet boat. And there's no way of getting out there unless you're using one of those two modes of transportation. So we're flying out there. The challenge out here is uh, there's a private airstrip can't land there unless you have permission, which I have obtained that permission. So I'm heading out to kind of uh, just have a look at the area. Uh, the fishing in the river is supposed to be really, really hot. So we'll see what that means. Does that mean we're going to be able to catch our three fish each, which is the limit? I hope so. Hopefully we make this trip and bring back some salmon to put in the freezer. If that works out, then perhaps we can come back with two more people so we can each get three. And then it makes your time worth it from a cost perspective. It's obviously worth it from the fun factor. But we always like to put some meat in the, in the freezer and then be able to pull it out in the middle of winter, throw it on the smoker. Oh, man, let me tell you. I, I'm, on my, I'm already drooling over the taste of that salmon. You've got to try it. There's nothing better than Alaskan salmon. And the stuff you buy in the store... Most of the time, unless you know, unless it's a special occasion, you're not eating the right stuff. Anyways, the Talachalitna airstrip is um, also known for kind of a challenging arrival. That's what I'm told. I've never been there, so we'll find out. So that's another reason why I wouldn't go in there with more than, you know, with lots of room to spare in terms of performance, weight, all those things that are important when you're trying to take off. We're certainly not going to have any issues today because the airplane is super light. It's uh, got all kinds of power for what we're doing. There's the airstrip. Wow, what a beautiful strip. Guys, we made it. How you doing? Wow, what a beautiful place you guys got here, huh? I'm Dimitri, by the way. I'm making a little YouTube video. How are you? <laughs> My brother good. Val. I just Val. spoke to Steven on the the other day and kind of got the whole yeah. the whole spiel on this place and yeah. the paperwork. So I'm basically just kind of uh, here to look around a little bit, poke at the river, maybe see what uh, what's going on. Is there any fish running this yes. time of year? Yes. Are the kings now officially kind of gone? That part I'm not too sure. Okay. Uh, we had customers granddaughter pick up a 42 inch king. Joking on that one. Ah, oh, lifesaver, man. That and probably some bear mace when you're out. Yep. Do you mind uh, if I get no. some waders on and go check out the river for a little bit? Just knock yourself out. This is the coolest guy ever, man. I think you probably wade in right there where those little ripples are. 
This is amazing. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wade on out into the Talentula the River. Got my line and spinner ready. Check out this beauty. This is awesome. I bet you the fish are right there against that shore. Fish is everywhere, but uh, they're just not biting this evening. We've had the lines in the water for about an hour. They are everywhere, um, but uh, for some reason tonight they must not be very hungry. I can literally see fish with my eyes. This is like one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. It's getting a little bit late. We're gonna definitely be coming back here. This silver should be really picking up in the next week or so. So hopefully we can find some time to adventure back out and catch some fish. But yeah. uh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful area. What did you think about that, Val? I thought it was awesome. I haven't been out this far ever. And just seeing all the silvers right around makes you want to catch one, but you know, when they're not biting, they're not biting. Yeah, you can physically see them in the water. Just schools of them. But for some reason, they weren't very hungry tonight. But this is just such a beautiful, beautiful spot. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to pack in the plane and head on out. Uh, we've got uh, Charles here and he has been a great uh, tour guide and telling us about the history of this place. R&R, if you want the best possible quality R&R, I would look into this place. So thank you very much, Charles. You're welcome. Hey guys, we made it back to Birchwood. Val, what'd you think of that? That was an amazing experience. Dimitri actually let me land the land the plane. So. Yeah, he actually landed it. All I did was just kind of made sure that Tapped no a few fast buttons, you know, told moves me happened do. in the wrong time. But he did really well yeah, for basically never flying hardly. It was awesome. Uh, I love that place that we just went to, Telechulitna River. I think is how you pronounce it. That was just an amazingly satisfying experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Standing in that cool water with it just kind of you know making its way cross your legs uh, in those hip waders, in those waders, chest waders, seeing the fish with your eyes. You literally could see them. Uh, I had a couple of bites, but an hour just wasn't enough tonight. So yeah, I think we're going time. back there with lots of time to spare. We're gonna bring some additional lures and we're gonna show you how to catch Alaskan salmon in Talachalitna River or basically any other river that's very similar to that. Got people heading out again. It's uh, 11 o'clock at night, okay? It's Good 11 o'clock at night, alive. and there's guys taking off for a flight. So there's, it's never too late to go on an adventure, okay? Guys, adventure more and crave life.